Hey, this is uh, part two. Uh, in this part, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of a pesky thing that happened to me a lot and probably happens to other rogues that are as lazy and me, as me or <laughs> with uh, keeping their poisons active. Now, you could do a search for poison mod or, uh, you know, lose poison mod or I don't know, whatever you could think of to try to find a mod that would keep track of your poisons but there isn't one but who cares because power auras would do it better than that anyways so what I'm going to show you is how you can use power auras to make sure you never forget to have poison on your weapons so just uh, I'm going to go over things pretty quick because I covered a lot of the basics of power auras in my first video and if you haven't seen that uh, just go ahead and check that one out if uh, I'm going too quick or you don't really understand what I'm doing here uh, all right, so here we go. I'm going to just type P-O-W-A for Power Auras. Uh, that's the command to bring it up, P-O-W-A. And we're going to go ahead and add a new uh, aura. So this is what's going to come up whenever I don't have poison on my weapon. So I definitely want it to be noticeable. There's really no reason to ever not have poison on. Uh, sometimes when you're in a city for a long time, you might want to turn this one off. Uh, so let's just get something really annoying looking here. Uh, we'll pick from WoW Textures, see what they have. Uh, that's not too annoying. Looks all right. Uh, definitely noticeable. So I'm going to make it really, really big and right in my character's face so I know when I don't have poison on. Now you could also use... A text door like I showed in my first video that says poison gone or whatever. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with this one. So here's the important part. In the activation, you're going to want to find enchant, weapon enchant, because it's not really a buff. So if you try to put it in as a buff, it won't work. So uh, your poisons are basically activated by weapon enchant. Now, you might think here... Man, I, I'm gonna have to type in so many different kinds of poisons, and it's gonna, you know, never gonna work right. Uh, you know, because I'll always be, you know, I use PVE poison sometimes, PVP poison different times. So, like, if I don't have wound poison on, I don't want this thing in my face. Well, here's the solution. One of the cool things about the code, and that's one reason I really like this mod, is because it's just got great code, is uh, that they remember to put exact name in there. So, the reason that you can put different things up here is for flexibility so let's just put poison and that's it uh, you could actually put this on if you're only if you're in a raid only if you're in combat uh, mount uh, mount toggle uh, we'll show it oh, shit I'm getting attacked okay this is actually an edit to the original video uh, while I was taping the video I was jumped by this hunter here outside of Black Rock Mountain and uh, actually we're playing it right now at 50% speed and here I am typing a bunch of keybinds and not understanding why I can't move and I realize that hey I gotta shut off power ores first fortunately I had used my trinket here because I thought I was in a stun but it was just power ores that was stunning me uh, I finally closed the gap with a with a uh, cheap shot here. I used a cloak, lifted his poison off of me as dot. Uh, might as well, he's not a caster. Uh, and here I dismantle him just before he gets away from me because I know he's probably going to get some space here. I don't want him to have a weapon. Here he goes. He pops his uh, his uh, beast mastery talent and he's running around just you know disengaging with no weapons. So now it's just a matter of time. Uh, he gets his weapon back, but it's far too late because I've already closed the gap and I finished him with the mutilate. So, there you go. Now, we just saved you a little bit of silence and we'll take you back to the video about poison auras. I'm just going to try to wrap this up quick. 
because I'm not really sure how much time I have left. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and check, make sure. I, I know I typed some crazy stuff in there. Uh, yeah, poison 1AA31, whatever. Okay, so let's just leave this at poison. And uh, one of the most important things you're going to check here is show when not active. So when there is no poison active, that's when it will show. And uh, let's test mode. Yeah, that's how we wanted it. So uh, let me see here. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you can go into animation if you want. Make it, I don't know, spiff it up a little bit. Maybe make it flash. <laughs> I'm all about flashing if you watched my last one. Uh, let's try something different than uh, water drop. That looks pretty cool. All right, we're going to go with the water drop for whenever I run out of poison. And uh, I think that's all I'm going to cover here uh, for this aura. i shut this down. And uh, now any time you don't have poison on, as you can see, I'll definitely know. And it doesn't matter what kind of poison. Let's see, we'll put some crippling poison on. Okay. Now, just to show that it'll work with all poisons, I'll we'll put wound poison on. And you're ready to go. Now, if you're ever in an arena or out in combat in the world and <laughs> you run out of poison, it'll never be a problem again. At least you'll know it happened. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to cover in my next uh, episode of the show. Uh, so probably going to be wrapping it up with a combo point uh, power aura, which actually you could have seen during that combat I was just in. And uh, then we'll move on to whatever the next thing is. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.